Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what are elementary data link layer protocols. I will explain what are noise list protocols and noise chip protocols. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Before starting this video, at first you need to know what is acknowledgement. Let's for example, there is sender. And there is receiver. Sender will send data to receiver. Whenever sender send data to receiver, receiver will send acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is nothing but reply message. Receiver will give reply whether data is received correctly or not. If sender receive acknowledgement, then sender will understand that data is successfully reached to receiver. So whenever sender don't receive acknowledgement after sending data, sender will wait some time. If there is no acknowledgement from receiver, sender will again send the same data. So acknowledgement is nothing but reply message. If sender receive acknowledgement, then sender will know that data is successfully reached to receiver. And if sender don't receive any acknowledgement, sender will think that data is not reached to receiver and sender will again send the same data. By using elementary data link layer protocols, two devices can connect to each other and they can transfer data directly. This elementary data link layer protocols will handle errors and as well as they will handle flow control. Flow control is nothing but how much speed receiver can receive data, only in that speed sender will send data. This is meaning of flow control. And this elementary data link layer protocols will do framing. Yes, framing is nothing but packing data. Instead of directly sending data, data is placed in frame and complete frame is transferred to receiver. So, elementary data link layer protocol will handle error control, flow control and as well as framing. That's noise mean error. So, based on errors in transmission, elementary data link layer protocols are classed into two types. They are noiseless protocols and noisy protocols. At first, I will explain what are noiseless protocols. That's name itself says. So, in noiseless protocols, there will not be any errors. Whenever sender send data, the data is successfully reached to receiver without any errors. Noiseless protocols are classed into two types. They are simplest protocol and stop and wait protocol. At first, I will explain what is simplest protocol. That's we also call simplest protocol as unrestricted simplex protocol. That's in simplest protocol, whenever sender send data to receiver, the data is successfully reached to receiver without any errors. And whenever sender send data frame, Receiver will not give any replay. That is, receiver will not send any acknowledgement. So, sender can continuously send data and receiver will not give any replay. Yes, frame is nothing but frame is like tracking. Yes, for example, I want to send message, how are you? So, how is placed in one frame, R is placed in one frame and U is placed in one frame. And each frame is transferred to receiver. Instead of sending data directly, we will place our data in frame and then we will send that frame to receiver. For example, sender want to send 10 frames. So, sender will continuously send all frames without waiting for receiver's response. This is all about simplex protocol. And second one is stop and wait protocol. That's in stop and wait protocol. Whenever sender send each frame, receiver will give acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is nothing but reply message. Receiver will send a message like data is reached successfully. This reply is known as acknowledgement. Thus, whenever sender send one frame, receiver will give replay. Only after receiving replay from receiver, sender will send next frame. This process will continue. Thus, simplex protocol and stop and wait protocol. They are noiseless protocols. There will not be any errors in data transfer. Data will be reached to receiver successfully. Next, I will explain what are noisy protocols. Thus, we will use noisy protocols in networks where there will be errors in data transmission. This noisy protocols will handle errors. First noisy protocol is stop and wait ARQ, where ARQ stands for automatic repeat request. Guys, stop and wait protocol and stop and wait ARQ, both are different. In stop and wait protocol, there will not be any errors in data transmission. And whereas in stop and wait ARQ, there will be errors in data transmission. It is similar to stop and wait protocol, but sender will recent frame if error occurs. Whenever receiver receives data with error, receiver will discard that message and receiver will not send any acknowledgement to sender. So, after waiting some time, if sender don't receive any acknowledgement, 
then sender will again send that same data. Let's for example, at first the sender will send data, which data is successfully reached to receiver. So receiver will send acknowledgement. Now sender will send the next data, but receiver will not receive data. So receiver will not send any acknowledgement. Sender will wait some time for acknowledgement as there is no acknowledgement from receiver. Sender will again send the same data. Now data is successfully received to receiver. So receiver will send acknowledgement. This is all about stop and wait ARQ, where ARQ stands for automatic repeat request. Sender will send data. If data is successfully reached to receiver, receiver will send acknowledgement. And if data is not reached to receiver, or if there are any errors in data, receiver will discard that message and receiver will not send any acknowledgement. After waiting some time, if sender don't receive any acknowledgement, then sender will again send that same data. Next, I will explain what is go back in ARQ. Guys, whereas if you consider stop and wait ARQ, in stop and wait ARQ, only sender will send one data frame at a time. Only after receiving reply from receiver, sender will send the next frame. But whereas in go back in ARQ, sender can send multiple frames at a time. If any error occurs in any frame, then receiver will discard that frame and as well as receiver will discard all the following frames from that error occurred frame. I will give one example. In go back in ARQ, sender can send multiple frames at a time. For example, sender will send four frames at a time. The receiver successfully received frame zero. So receiver will send acknowledgement for frame zero. Similarly, receiver successfully received frame one. So receiver will send acknowledgement for frame one. Receiver received frame two, but this frame two contains errors. As there are errors, receiver will send negative acknowledgement for frame two, where NESC stands for negative acknowledgement. So frame two got negative acknowledgement and receiver received frame three successfully. Even though frame three is received successfully, receiver will discard all the frames from error occurred frame. So receiver will discard frame two and as well as frame three. So now sender will again send frame two and as well as frame three. This is example frame three got error. So receiver will send negative acknowledgement for frame three and as well as all corresponding frames from frame 3. So sender will again send frame 3, 4 and 5. This is all about go back in ARQ. Next I will explain what is selective repeat ARQ. Guys, even in selective repeat ARQ, sender can send multiple frames at a time. But in selective repeat ARQ, sender will not send all the frames. Sender will send only corrupted frame. This is the example. Sender will send 4 frames at a time. Receiver got error in frame 2. So receiver will send negative ACK only for frame 2. As only frame 2 got negative ACK, sender will send only frame 2. This is all about selective repeat ARQ. 